So if you haven't tried the new Google Nano Banana AI inside Photoshop Beta, you're seriously missing out. A lot of people are still buying plugins from third-party sites, even after paying for an Adobe subscription. And if you don't have a subscription yet, grab one now. Adobe's bundle is currently 40% off. All right, let's open Photoshop Beta and test it out. Step one, opening Nano Banana. When you launch Photoshop Beta, you'll either see your normal workspace or the What's New panel. If you don't see it, just click the gift icon on the top right corner. For the first time setup, make sure Access the latest AI models in Photoshop is selected. Then click Try it now. This will open a new document with an image and a quick walkthrough of the steps. Step two, background replacement. Let's try replacing the background of this girl's image. First, click Select Subject. Photoshop will automatically detect her. Then click Invert using the icon below. Now go to Generative Fill. Before typing your prompt, you'll notice a new option here, Google Nano Banana, alongside Adobe Firefly. Select Nano Banana. Now type a prompt like Home Interior Background. And hit Generate. Nice. But you'll notice Nano Banana gives only one result unlike Firefly, which shows three. So let's try another one. I'll type Backyard of the House. Looks much better now. You can also use simple prompts like winter season or autumn season. They work really well. Step three, changing outfit and adding effects. Now let's change her outfit. Select her dress while holding the control key and type replace her dress with oversized. Hit enter and see how it updates. Pretty cool, right? Let's add something creative. I'll type neon sign behind her in cursive that reads, Disco, say. Nice. Now let's push it further. Change the prompt to rooftop party with neon lights. And it looks amazing. This is where Nano Banana shines step four. Product example, Coke can. Next example, I've downloaded a Coke can from Pexels. Resize it properly, then select the area around it. Now type your prompt. For example, Coke can with creative neon background. Hit generate. And wow, it looks like a professional product shoot. Next example. Select the area you want to generate. For generative fill, switch from Google Nano to Adobe Firefly. It works faster, and you don't even need to type any text to generate the side area of the image. Now, add a prompt based on your imagination. Hmm, not bad. Let's add something like this. Nice. If you want this prompt, just comment down below. For the next example, we'll use an image of a schoolgirl lying on a tree limb. Just like we did earlier, select the rest of the image area, then invert the selection and use the Adobe Firefly model to generate. Pick the version that matches best. After that, merge the layers. Now, hold down the control key and click on the image layer to select it. Add your prompt, 
switch the Adobe model to Nano Banana and hit Generate. Nice. Here we're changing the pond water into volcano lava. Not bad, the detailing looks pretty good too. Now let's change her dress with another style. Looks great. Finally, let's add a moon in the sky. And just like that, we've transformed a simple photo into something magical. And that's how you can unleash your creativity for free with Photoshop Beta 2025 using Adobe Firefly and Google Nano Banana. If you want me to share these prompts, just drop a comment below. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and keep experimenting because sometimes even the basics can spark the best creativity.